And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Piece of Pie. The game. It's interesting because this game, when I first saw it, there's a game called Piece of Cake, and this is Piece of Pie. And I thought, oh, this is, this, is it the same game? It's not. They even look the same. In fact, Piece, piece of Cake, the cakes look like these pies. I'm not sure. Cake, pie, whatever. It's all good. But in this game, players are going to be drafting and making their own pie, trying to score the most points. It's definitely geared towards families, and it has nothing to do with Piece of Cake, the one I was talking about. Besides, that one was remade into New York Slice. Confused yet? Well, we're here to just talk about this game right now, and that's Piece of Pie. Here's how it plays. Four random pies are going to be built in the middle of the table. This device is pointing at four of the pieces on the pie. Each player is going to be secretly given a card that shows which type of pie piece they like the best. Uh, ooh, I don't know, probably blueberry, but they're all good. Anyhow, you're also going to take a green and a blue scoring card. There's several of each. Put them face out, and the purple scoring card is always there. On your turn, you can take a piece that this is pointing at. So maybe for my first turn, I'll take this piece. I'll now start my own pie. After a piece is taken, that piece is no longer there. You can take any piece that's next to it. So maybe on my next turn, I'll take this one. But then the turn after that, I might take this one here. And then the turn after that, I might take this one here. And so on until I have built my own pie. So let's... Everyone, all four people, or you're playing with less than four people, uh, everyone's going to have their own pie. You're then going to score that pie according to the cards. So let's say I was blueberry here. Well, I instantly get four points for that. You also get a point for every piece that has chocolate shavings on it. So four more points for that. Then for each group of icing that you have two next to each other, you get three points. So I have one, two, so that's another six points. If I have all three of these symbols, I get five. I have a heart and a star, but oh, I never did get the flower piece, so no five points for me there. Here I get two points if I have two of the same kind next to each other. Well, that's pretty fantastic. Two here, two here, that's another four points. And then here I get a point, two points for each strawberry piece I have that has two different things on each side of it. Yeah, another two points, so two, Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I have twenty points in total, and whoever has the most points is the winner. As you can see, these pieces of pie are brightly colored. They're fantastic. Um, it's really easy to see what the shapes are. These, the scoring cards are mostly easy to tell, although some of them you'll have to look it up in the thing. What does this mean? What does that mean? It means those two are the same or what have you. And it shows you kind of, you know, the, the rule book itself, which is a long folded out sheet here, just explains each of the green scoring cards and each of the blue scoring cards there. So those are flavor recipes and then you have your perfect piece. So it's very clear on how the game works. It's not a hard game to teach and play. Everything fits in the box, which if you see here, you put, some, you put the one piece here, the cards go here, and then the pieces all sit here. This is a really big thing for such a, a box for how many pieces. This could have fit into almost a box that was a fourth of the size, honestly. But, eh, I mean, it looks great because it has that glass window that shows the pie through it. But, I don't know, it feels almost like a waste. Well, there you have it. Piece of pie. Um, like I said, you're, you're really only doing eight things over the course of the game. It's a really fast game. You take a piece, you decide where you put it. Now, as you build your pie, you got to follow the rule. You put the first one down. Each other one must touch it adjacent. You can't mix your pie up at any given point. But it's pretty simple. You're not sure what to grab? Grab a piece of your, your favorite slice because that's always worth a point. Chocolate's worth a point. Icing's worth a point and a half if you get two of them next to each other. And then the symbols are worth that much too, but you want to get three of them. And then the scoring cards out there. It's really simple, really easy. Every game will be slightly different. When I played it with my kids, we played it, and then I played it, and then played it, because you just go uh, easy to follow up on how the game works. Now, 
Uh, there's one small problem I have with the game, and that's some of the scoring cards. There's a few scoring cards that will say something like, Kiwi needs to be between two of the same type, or Blueberry, and then you have one of each, two of the same, and they're one space away, or something like that. That's fine, but that's not good if a player picked Blueberry as their favorite slice, because now everybody has a reason to take your color. And I'm kind of surprised that they didn't just say, your color surrounded by two different types, or your color surrounded by two of the same. It seems like that would be an easy fix to make it a little bit fair. That being said, I might be putting too much effort into thinking about this since it's obviously geared as a light game. But man, it looks fantastic on the table. People are gonna have fun playing this one, grabbing the slices of pie, building them. It's fulfilling, works well with a lot of different age ranges, and parents will enjoy playing it with their kids too. And even just a bunch of adults together, it's a nice little casual filler style game. <laughs> I said filler. Anyhow, that's piece of pie. Dice Tower Judgment approved!